If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, is social anxiety a lack of self-esteem? Answer by, John Kyle. Your health, your choices. When we have healthy self-esteem, we tend to feel positive about ourselves and about life in general. It makes us able to deal with life's ups and downs better. Reference, how to overcome shyness. When our self-esteem is low, we tend to see ourselves and our life in a more negative and critical light. We also feel less able to take on the challenges life throws at us. Low self-esteem often begins in childhood. Teachers, friends, siblings, parents, and even the media send us messages about ourselves, both positive and negative. For some reason, the message that you are not good enough is the one that stays with you. In the short term, avoiding challenging and difficult situations makes you feel a lot safer, says Chris Williams, professor of psychosocial psychiatry at the University of Glasgow. In the longer term, this can backfire because it reinforces your underlying doubts and fears. It teaches you the unhelpful rule that the only way to cope is by avoiding things. Start to note these negative thoughts and write them down on a piece of paper or in a diary. Ask yourself when you first started to think these thoughts. Next, start to write down evidence that challenges these negative beliefs. I am really good at cryptic crosswords or my sister calls for a chat every week. Aim to have at least five things on your list and add to it regularly. Then put your list somewhere you can see it. That way, you can keep reminding yourself that you're okay. You might have low confidence now because of what happened when you were growing up, says Professor Williams. But we can grow and develop new ways of seeing ourselves at any age. We are all good at something, whether it's cooking, singing, doing puzzles or being a friend. We also tend to enjoy doing the things we are good at, which can help to boost your mood. Answer by, Carol Lee Stevenson. It can be. It can also be a fear of not getting it right and of not knowing how to bring your best self to the party, as it were. I'm sending you a few links that may be of help. How to become sociable. Six ways to get more comfortable with others, and yourself. Top 10 ways to be comfortable in your own skin. When I was a teen, I had no clue how to be, and high school was so plus painful. When I got to UCLA I decided that, just as with any other coursework, I would study how do all these other popular people do it. I paid attention, took mental notes, practiced what I saw others doing. Most of being successfully social turns out to be listening to what others have to say and being curious and occasionally asking questions, smiling, genuinely caring about others' feelings, being able to intuit what works and what does not pitching into help when useful and asking others for their input reading 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 those links and others and not thinking badly of yourself when things don't work out fast enough is key keep on keeping on practice 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 by graduation i'd nailed it and could fit in and feel wanted and enjoyed at any time and in any situation i chose i liked being able to do that yes it was a lot of work and i was so glad i learned the skills for it is a skill oh and thinking i'm not good enough has got to stop. Really? Hey, if one of the original shrinking violets can do it, so can you. One caveat, as it turned out, I am not a naturally outgoing person. I'm rather an introvert. So, even though I could be amazing, for want of a better word, I still preferred my own, quiet, company in my own, quiet, pursuits. What I had done was added a skill. That skill was not me and that was worth learning too. I HD developed an alternate way of being, and do not put myself down for being who I am. I do enjoy being the other me, when I want to be, and now I know how to do so. Answer by, Feralikovich. I don't know anything about psychology from a theoretical perspective. I only will answer it from personal experience. Social anxiety comes from a definite lack of self-belief, if not self-esteem. It's a lack of comfort with who you are, how you look, talk, behave, dress up. It can only be dealt with by dealing with the very subject of your problem, people. Yes, there will be a day when you will achieve a smoother conversation, a new friend, an invitation or a mere compliment after a few difficult experiences and things will become better. Keep exposing yourself to the world till the point where you know that every human being is human at the end of the day and has vulnerabilities. That should give you a better perspective on your own lack of self-belief.